Hi guys, John Arlo here. Thanks very much for uh, coming to check out the uh, this video today, which is again about my uh, my latest blog post. And today we're looking at how you and your online home business can stand out from the crowd. The internet is a really busy place and it's very competitive. So what you've got to do is you've got to think of ways and find ways that are going to make your business and make people want to come to your business rather than uh, then go to your competitors. Now the temptation sometimes uh, is to go and look and see what your competitors are doing. Now this is very valid but sometimes what you've got to do is you've got to start looking at things which are happening on your your own website first and what you're doing with your own business first before you start looking elsewhere because sometimes that's where the uh, where the problems can lie for example uh, the products and the services which you are offering as part of your online business are they up to date are they the latest cutting edge uh, services or products which are available on the marketplace if people are looking at your business and finding a particular solution to a problem that you say that you can solve and then they go to one of your competitor sites and that they see that that problem can be solved uh, quicker more effectively even more uh, e even if it's not even if it's done more cheaply is is that is that the way that you want your customers to go so you've got to ensure that your everything that you're offering is on the cutting edge is at the very latest part of uh, of what your industry and what your customers are uh, are looking for also the other thing is have a think about the last time that you did a blog post how often are you are you writing a blog post blog posts are a great way for keeping your your website up to date with the search engine search engines take an index of everything which is on the internet and and obviously their job is to provide the most up-to-date information to people who are searching for it online so if they hit your website and they see that it hasn't been updated for a couple of weeks a couple of months they're going to think that that information is not up to date so they may not put your website and your um, information at the top of the search engine listings also look at content which you have produced before which you can uh, repurpose now what this means is that you may have content which you put on your website or you've sent out as a blog or you've written as an article which is still evergreen which is still relevant which you can still which is just as got as much relevance now as it did do when you uh, when you first uh, uh, published this so uh, rather than just repeating the sending this out is there other ways that you can send this website could be other ways that you can send this information on your website could you make a video from it? Could you make uh, a new blog post from it? Could you write an article from it? Could you make a presentation from it? Could you turn it into an infographic? Just look at ways that you can repurpose content because again, this is all fresh information, fresh ways of getting that information out to your target audience. Also, the other thing which you can't forget is social media. Now, whether uh, you like Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and all the other things which exist online, uh, if, you're on, if you're not on them, your customers certainly are so take note of what's happening in your industry and in your marketplace on social media follow the leaders in there see what they're doing but also make sure that you've got your own Facebook page and your own Twitter account Pinterest Google Plus LinkedIn all of these all linking from your website taking you to social media pages where people can find you and come and see you Anyway, there's lots more information on uh, today's blog post and again the, uh, the link is above or below this particular uh, video. Thanks very much for coming to check it out. I would welcome any comments that you have uh, or any things that you have done to make your business stand out from the crowd and um, if you've got any comments about today's video or today's blog post, please let me know and I'll definitely get back to you. Anyway, this is John Arlo saying thank you very much for, uh, for coming to check out this video today and I shall speak to you soon. Okay. Cheers for now. Bye.